today, we will see some examples of unitary method. Example 1. Rahul's group wanted six similar shirts for a dance competition. He bought six shirts for 245 rupees each. Find the amount that he has to pay for six shirts. Here, we have to find the amount Rahul has to pay for six shirts. We are given the cost price of one shirt, that is, rupees 245. In order to find the cost of six shirts, we have to multiply the number of shirts, that is, six, with the cost of one shirt, rupees 245. Therefore, cost of six shirts is equal to rupees 245 into six, which is equal to rupees 1470. Next example. If the cost of four dozens of mangoes is rupees 120, then find the cost of 20 mangoes. From the given example, it is clear that the cost of four dozens of mangoes is rupees 120. Since one dozen is equal to 12 items, therefore, one dozen is equal to 12 mangoes. Similarly, four dozen mangoes is equal to 12 into 4, which is equal to 48 mangoes. Thus, we can say that the cost of 48 mangoes is rupees 120. Now, how do we find the cost of one mango? Think for a while. You've got it right. To find the cost of one mango, we have to divide rupees 120 by 48. Cost of one mango is equal to rupees 120 divided by 48. Since we need to find the cost price of 20 mangoes, we multiply 20 with the cost of one mango. Therefore, cost of 20 mangoes is equal to 20 into 120 by 48. By solving this, we get the cost price of 20 mangoes, that is rupees 50. In this way, we can solve such questions easily with the correct use of unitary method. Example 3. For covering a distance of 180 kilometers, a vehicle requires 4.5 litres of petrol. Find out how much petrol is needed by a car to cover a distance of 800 kilometres. Also, how much distance will this car cover using 10 litres of petrol? First, let's find out how much petrol is needed to cover a distance of 800 kilometres. The required petrol for covering a distance of 180 kilometres is equal to 4.5 litres. Here, we convert the mixed fraction, 4.5, into an improper fraction and get 9 by 2. Therefore, required petrol for covering a distance of 180 kilometres is 9 by 2 litres. Thus, required petrol for covering a distance of 1 kilometre is equal to 9 by 2 divided by 180. Or, we can write it as 9 by 2 divided by 180 by 1. To divide fractions, we keep the first fraction as it is and then multiply it with the reciprocal of the second fraction, 180, which is 1 by 180. Therefore, petrol required for covering a distance of 1 km is equal to 9 by 2 into 1 by 180, which is equal to 1 by 40 litres. Thus, Petrol required to cover a distance of 800 kilometers is equal to 1 by 40 into 800, which is equal to 800 by 40, which is equal to 20 liters. This means the vehicle must have 20 liters of petrol in it. Let's find out how much distance this vehicle will cover in 10 liters of petrol. As we can see, the vehicle will cover 1 kilometer distance in 1 by 40 liters of petrol. If we multiply both sides by 40, then we get to know that the vehicle will cover 40 kilometers distance in 1 litre of petrol. Similarly, the vehicle will cover 10 into 40 kilometers, that is, 400 kilometers in 10 litres of petrol. Today, we have seen some examples of unitary method. In the next video, we will learn some misconceptions related to this.